Tony here for your do-it-yourself car care and advice channel. So today I'm going to be covering a must-have for convertibles. We're talking about wind deflectors. There's two main models. You've got the plastic model, they call it a plexiglass, which would make you think that it's made of glass and it's entirely not the case. And you have your mesh uh, wind deflector. Uh, both have their pros and cons and that's what I'm going to be covering today. Basically, which model should you get? Uh, in my opinion, both models are a must-have. There is slight differences between the two. Uh, the main difference is not price. You think there'd be a big difference when you go with something made of uh, what appears to be glass, uh, but it's actually where you come into its main default. The main default of the plexiglass is that it's not fragile, which is a huge benefit. It's made of plastic, but being that it's made of plastic, it scratches very easily. Uh, so if you're going to be a little rough or if you have kids, you definitely don't want to get the plexiglass model. Uh, the plexiglass scratches just about anything. I've scratched it even just cleaning it off with Windex before. There was a bit of dust and a bit of uh, road grime on it that I picked up and I scratched it just cleaning it off. So it's really fragile. Once it does get scratched, you can always tint it. Uh, tinting will help hide the scratches. That'll only look good if you've also tinted the other windows on your vehicle, which means you're going to running, be running, probably running into a cost of $200 to max $300 to tint your plexiglass and all your other windows on the vehicle. Now, this cuts out almost all the wind. It's uh, the main advantage. Uh, I'd say only maybe 10% of the wind actually goes into the car. So if you're going to be doing a lot of convertible rides when it's cold out, let's say 60 degrees, or thereabouts or you know 10 degrees Celsius this is a great option because you can put your windows up have your plexiglass installed and crank the heat up in the car still get you know the nice Sun today it's about 12 degrees just got back from a convertible ride and it's just perfect you crank the heat up on the inside of the vehicle and you get to drive around and you still feel like it's summer even when it's actually relatively cold out windows down completely down all the windows are down you're gonna have a look some a little more wind that comes in obviously uh, but it's really not that bad you know I'm doing 70 kilometers an hour an hour as you can see barely any wind in the hair uh, enjoyable uh, if it was a little bit colder uh, pretty simple or if you really want to cut the wind out so right now the windows are up and I can talk normally uh, there's pretty much no wind coming in the vehicle. I love this. Uh, this is great. Uh, and it lets you enjoy the vehicle for so many more months out of the year. So if you've got a bit of a colder season, let's say it's it's uh, 10 degrees Celsius out, uh, or give or take 65 Fahrenheit. Well, you know, great. If you find it's cold, anytime, put your windows up, crank the heat up, and uh, you know, you can feel like you're in a sauna because there's just pretty much no wind coming in here. Um, so let's now talk about the mesh grill. Uh, the mesh wind deflector, it's great because it's easy to install. You can do it on your own, one person. It's going to take 30 seconds, max a minute, because it's just four plastic clips. So it's as easy as getting in the back seat, clipping in or clipping out, whether you're installing or uninstalling. So that's the best option if you have kids. If you have kids and half the time they're going to be riding in the back, you want something that's easy to take in and out and isn't going to get scratched when you leave it in the garage. Now, if you don't have kids and you're not, you know, lugging around your, your friends very often, uh, this is a great option. Uh, its main default is that it scratches easy, but, you know, if you don't have kids and it's almost always going to be staying in place, great. Now, if you do occasionally have friends getting into the back seat, let me show you how easy it is to get in the back seat. So this install took about two to three minutes. You required a second person in order to not scratch the leather because you do have metal brackets. Uh, so if you're installing it on your own, uh, if you're not careful, you're gonna scratch the leather. So it's much easier to have two people do this. But to get in the back seat when you have friends, then again, my watch, really easy to scratch. So, you know, you just lift up or disconnect the seat belt here and your friends can get in the back seat. But this is another one of the plexiglass's defaults. Let's say your girlfriend's shorter than you. No one knows anything about that, eh? We haven't seen that before. If your girlfriend's shorter, 
and you're taller. Now your seat, of course, is gonna be lower to the ground. And I'll walk around just to show you what that looks like on the other side if she needs to see over the dash. She puts her seat up to be able to see over the dash. You know, you now have something that doesn't look very good. And that's the other major default of this, uh, this model, plexiglass, is you have to have the seats at the same level, at the same angle, and at the same height for it to look good. So if you go with the mesh grill, that's not going to be the case because it's not attached to the back of the headrest, meaning that the leveling of the seats dictate the look of the plexiglass. So I'm lucky. Uh, my partner, she's the same height as me. So you know what? We keep it at the same height and uh, we don't play around with our seat settings. But if you want something a little more, uh, as we could say, user friendly, get the mesh grill. It's not going to scratch easily. It's easy to remove and install. Uh, so really, I'd advise the mesh grill. Now, uh, my girlfriend really does not like being cold and I absolutely love riding with the top down. So for me, this was the right option. We don't have kids. Uh, this was the right option because it's cutting out pretty much all the wind. It, maybe five or ten percent of the wind gets in so we can still go for rides when it's, you know, 65 degrees Celsius out or 12, 13 degrees uh, uh, Celsius versus 65 Fahrenheit. Uh, so we really like this model. The mesh we've had before, it allowed about 20 to 25 percent of the wind into the vehicle. So I'd really say those are really the things you need to consider when you're shopping for what type of wind deflector you're going to have. Uh, I'd say it is a must-have no matter what kind of convertible you have. Uh, and this was our choice uh, this time. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in and catch you next time.